sugar cane, huh? You know, sugar cane, huh? Uh, we make sugar out of it. Right? The sugar cane uh, is a, uh, you know, uh, 在路边要怎么讲 ？On the roadside. On the roadside, everybody can just cut it and then uh, chew it. Huh? You know how we uh, taste the sugar cane? It's just the peel of the skin and then uh, chew it. Huh? And the image of sugar cane on the roadside, and uh, you can chew it. Uh, is there some implication you fear when I just, you know, give you this example? Okay, this is a new novel. Uh, what about is uh, to deal with the male's sexuality. And uh, finally, I mean, after writing for 40 some years, I fear I'm capable of writing a, 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 a male sexuality. And my friend asked me, where are the information or sources from? I say part of it is going to be uh, 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 from this, i tell you later, but then I read this part first. Uh -huh. Yes, right in book decay, I can finally reach uh, men's uh, sexu uh, 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 sexuality. We women have been written by male writers for thousands of years. Now we women finally have enough capacity to write about men and the men's sexuality. Please do not worry. I will not be as uh, rude and uh, brutal and uh, self-contained as most of the male writers who wrote about women. Mm -hmm. I will stick to the so-called tender of women, especially Eastern women. We Eastern women, you know, we were, you know, we have this kind of, uh, I know it's good or bad, say we are sensitive, we are tender, we are nice, right? Huh? So I'm going to use this uh, nice, tender, sensitive skier, write carefully, and the portray everything slowly. I will. What will I achieve in my creative writing about this uh, male sexuality? Wait and see. <laughs> you men, aren't you afraid of? <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not, huh? Okay, and woman, what do you think of this? Ah, help me if you have uh, information about uh, male sexuality. Okay, so to give you a few examples, only probably one, huh? I'm running out of time, huh? Anyway, um, uh, okay, I'm uh, uh, from the, the, the traditional Chinese culture, we have this Chai Yin Bu Yang. So I'm going to read you this, uh, this paragraph for you to understand better uh, uh, how uh, the, the Chinese uh, uh, traditional culture treat uh, women. Huh? Okay, the part of Chinese patriotic culture developed a special body building belief that uh, means the yin with the yang, huh, to, to kind of combine yin and yang. In other words, huh, men take advantage of sexual gratification to adapt the essence of in from woman's body, strengthen men's sexual, uh, sexual power, and uh, even ascend to a heavenly bend of immortality. During the process of sexual gratification, men must prevent their sperm or semen from being ejected quickly, because sperm or semen would be more valuable than life. Women lose all the vital elements uh, for life and uh, end up with death after the procedure of men's adoption of the yin to strengthen the yang. In order to stimulate, stimulate uh, women's, uh, 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 the, okay, to stimulate and to get the best uh, and the juicy essence of the yin, Men must enable women to reach their organism, the organism or a sexual climate during the sexual gratification. So men did not uh, do this to please women. Why can they want women to have this uh, 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 organism huh, or a sexual climate? Uh, it's because by doing this, uh, then they attract all the juicy part of life uh, from the woman. And uh, the, the folk uh, 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 story says that after the woman being, uh, you know, chai in, and they eventually die after many sexual intercourse. That's what the legendary uh, uh, book uh, 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 about this. Uh, we can easily still find one, but we don't know how to do it anymore. <laughs> okay, furthermore, men also take the... Uh, okay, forget this.